from Gala and Lysana. They want to make sure I fix everything. Oh, and an oil can I keep growing, hopefully she can fix it. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it's from Dad too, okay? I'm gonna use it. My new coffee cup. Oh, okay, this is cute. That's so nice, man. Look, not Chewy trying to bite it. Chewy, don't bite it. You chew it a minute, see? Stop biting it. Look at how cute these candles are. So Oh, so See, so mom can see them. Here, look, let's look at these ones. Hold on. I remember Michaela tried to get one of these the other day. Oh, look how cute. I'll show you them. How cute. Look at your outfit. Look at these things they can wear with their hat. Oh, so cute. Hey guys, go ahead and open it up. What's up with it? We are back and I feel like we've been gone for so long. <laughs> for real, it's been a little minute since we dropped something, really. I know, last Friday. So we're back with y'all today and yep, what yep. are we going to talk about? All right, we're going to talk about, actually this is like a holiday edition for real. A yeah, lot of people we had asked, you know, on the poll and they're like, yeah, we want to see a, a Christmas video, a holiday yeah. video. So It's just yeah. a fun little lightweight video. We don't have any super gems to drop this time, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> All right, so a lot of people, I think, since you know we left and started making videos have asked us like what our beliefs are now and mm. how we feel about this kind of thing or how we feel about holidays and let me be honest with you okay <laughs> <laughs> we do not care we don't tie holidays into like religious beliefs okay right. so if we want to celebrate a holiday we're gonna celebrate it just because it's not because of our religious beliefs or uh -huh spiritual beliefs or anything like that and mm -hmm. I think that this year it really showed me because this is the first time that I've like truly celebrated a holiday you yeah. know like we would kind of celebrate back in the day uh -huh. but never with like the matching pajamas and like yeah. sitting around the Christmas tree like nothing like that and uh -huh. after experiencing it like I had a lot of fun it just it's really more about family time than anything because yeah. even the whole like gift exchange and everything that's probably like the least fun part i mean it's fun Every, it, like receiving gifts is always fun right. but and giving gifts is a lot of fun just to see people's like reaction and everything yeah. but the most fun for me was just being able to like spend time with my family because a lot of you know that my family lives in Pennsylvania and we're down here in Georgia. His right. family lives in Ohio. So anytime like the whole fam can get together, it's always a vibe. Yeah, that's facts. And like like Babe was saying, a lot of uh, witnesses, they don't understand that. See people leaving. They're like, why are they doing that? They know the yeah. history of it. And I, I guess we will drop a couple gems. Yeah, let's it. Do is it. real cringy with witnesses and holidays as far as something as simple as you at the grocery store around this time of year and somebody says oh merry christmas oh we actually don't celebrate christmas we're jehovah's witnesses it's just like and they always take it as a time to preach to somebody yeah. whenever like i remember even whenever i was a witness if somebody told me happy holidays or merry christmas i would just mm -hmm. say thank you and keep it pushing like you don't yep. have to make everything a learning lesson oh that was yeah. another thing at the airport babe that's right oh i almost <laughs> forgot we should have got some footage oh. we was in a hurry but leaving the airport here it was witnesses there at doing the cart work yes and then when we landed as soon as we got off there there again it's like we ooh. were tapping each other like babe <laughs> like look, look. like ooh, if we had the time that we didn't have any content. time but we would have loved to go up and just start talking just the best with them we that's the video the uh they they voted for too 
is uh, it was actually with the say at the door and somebody commented oh, like, yeah. what about crashing cars? So I'm like, all right, we're yeah. going to put that in that video too. But oh, uh, I wish we would have taken the time out to just talk. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're definitely going to do that. But yeah, the whole holiday thing is like, of course, most people that do Christmas know the origins of it and yes. how it's a pagan holiday. Most of them are, but it comes to everybody's off work. You don't usually have like a Monday off where everybody yeah. can be together. And like my family is not big on Christmas, like my witness family, of course, but even my regular family, like we yeah. just go over somebody's house to eat, and that's, that's it. Enough, or and buy, yeah, like buy stuff for the kids. Yes. And that's pretty much it. And that's all it kind of comes down to. You can yeah. spend time with your family. You don't have to be so uptight. Like, like babe, this is her first real big Christmas. Yeah. We would kind of have it at my dad's house growing up. So I'm like, of course I'm gonna be supportive. Like, all right, shoot, let's hang yeah. with the family, but. So many people are indoctrinated with the witness. Oh, I'm not even, you know, going to spend time with family on Christmas, you know. Yes. And which I'm, once I, me and you had met, I didn't know that that many witnesses outside of my city would, like, do stuff on Christmas oh, and Thanksgiving. Oh, they always do things on yeah. Christmas and Thanksgiving. Like, I remember even just having, like, get-togethers and stuff. Yep. They wouldn't do holiday exchange or name it Christmas. But even Thanksgiving, I remember people... Um, buying turkeys and stuff because they were on sale and they yep. would make a whole Thanksgiving layout. Jehovah's Witnesses, okay? Yep. A whole Thanksgiving layout on Thanksgiving. So yeah. you're just not calling it what it is, but you're doing the same practices that everybody else does on this day. <laughs> yeah, right? This is funny because this is supposed to be a quick little video, but now like now stuff, is, talking, stuff yeah. is rolling in my head. I remember my family... Uh, like my granddad and them wouldn't accept or go over nobody's house for Thanksgiving, yeah. but they would come the day after or something. You yeah. know what I mean? Yes. And, and they always had the story about my great grandma had invited my granddad and my mom and them over for Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. and they're like, no. And I think they had the meeting. So after the meeting, they went over to grab some plates. Yeah. And afterwards, my great grandma was telling, yeah, you know, they came. The family was all over for Thanksgiving, and my granddad was like, uh, that's it. Like, no more. Oh, no. no more Thanksgivings. Listen, I'm not going to lie. Like, having that time was so much fun. Okay, so last year, they had Christmas. Remember, like, my mm -hmm. mom, my sister, um, or both my sisters, and my dad. Right. And they had the whole, like, little matching PJs and everything. Mm -hmm. And um, my dad died this year. So, like, missing... Okay, I'm a travel nurse, okay? So, any nurses out there, they already know that, like, when it comes to holidays you don't get a lot of them off. Like right. you usually have to work them or whatever. Yeah, and um, just having that time with the family and like sharing those moments, it's it was just so cute. Like yeah. the little stocking stuffers and like the, I don't know, there's just a different vibe on Christmas. Like all mm -hmm. the lights, it feels warm. So yeah. I had a really good time. Right, it was dope. Yeah, it really was. But um, I say that to say that like, basically there's, there's no difference by what, you're going to do different practices like on Christmas or whatever. But even while we were Jehovah's Witnesses, like people mm -hmm. still congregated together. So yeah. it's the same thing. And like my grandparents live in Pennsylvania and they're witnesses. And I remember even thinking like on um, those days leading up to Christmas and stuff, like I miss them. Like I wish that they were there celebrating with us right not, not even celebrating but just being with us but that's the thing is that they're so afraid um mm -hmm. of even being tied to it that they won't come over for like family stuff or anything like that even for just dinner like we yeah. not it don't even have to be a gift exchange it could just be no. we about to sit down and eat like we do any other day right but now this day is kind of forbidden yes yeah. exactly so all right so into the history of christmas Along with a lot of other holidays, mm -hmm. people talk about the history of it. But there's a lot of things in everyday history that people, you know, goes against their religious beliefs, but they don't know. Like, uh, But it doesn't actually go against their religious beliefs. They just name it something else. Right. Mm -hmm. So think of like, uh, you know, a black cat. That's bad luck. That's supposed to be if you're a Christian, you shouldn't be saying stuff like that. Or, because you shouldn't believe in that. Right. You know, or sweeping somebody's feet. Yeah. Things like that. Splitting poles. That, these are everyday things that, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? If you are supposed to be a religious person, this is stuff you shouldn't participate in. Right. You know. Uh, or believe in. Yeah, mm -hmm. believe in. Think of, um, you know, the blood of Christ. If anything else is like you sharing somebody's blood or 
passing around blood. That's demonic. That's a ritual. That's but a then ritual. when you put it this way, now it's okay. Or uh, like they say, like smudging in the Bible, smudging, you smudging know, the doorway. Yes. You know, that's normal. But if somebody, you know, likes some sage, oh, that's demonic. Yes. You know what I'm saying? People pick and choose what they want to call right and wrong. Uh-huh. Not yeah. believing in, like, the use of earth. You see, and this is how twisted it is. Because once we, like, woke up, we also got into, like, holistic care kind of things. Okay? Right. So people are so far out from, like, things that are actually good for you and your body. And yeah. things that have been blessed, like, on this earth. They're there for us to use and to help our body get back to the best height that it can be you know exactly and they try to say oh don't use don't use herbs like sage is just an herb okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> a lot of other ones yes yeah. uh, um what my grandma uses the ruda mm. it's just an herb and these herbs have medicinal properties that literally cleanse your space okay yeah. not only make the air pure like more pure but they cleanse the energy Even, of your home yeah peppermint things like that yeah essential oils like all of those things and you're taught like not to not to believe in those things and all of this and not to believe in manifestation but what do you think prayer is yeah even if uh think even when you might have been a witness and you think you know all right i just lost this job jehovah is gonna give me another job in your mind you are believing i'm going to get this other job and of course once you wake up you realize jehovah wasn't blessing nothing yeah. in this organization but you yourself created that reality in, in your mind your and brought it into existence by yes. I know I'm going to have a new job yes. you manifested that yeah you know but what I mean? you, you just call it something different and yep. they make sure to make it like oh no this is this is more pure this is more holy because you change the name of it but in reality it's the same action you're doing the same thing yep. and we really realize this like once we woke up because I don't know if you see it in the background but we make a vision board every single year yep. okay and we cross off things like we look at it every day because these are things that we want in our life and um, before it was oh yes Jehovah blessed me like Jehovah has given me this and all of these things but yeah. in reality you are speaking those things nothing changed once we woke up like wow. it, got, <laughs> it kind of got better yeah, you know things like definitely got better yes. because we learned that Instead of just waiting for something outside of ourselves, because you are always told that you are a sheep and you you yes. pretty much weak, you can't do nothing on your own. And once you realize this thing that I'm feeling like is supposed to do stuff for me, I'm just holding myself back, and I can actually yeah. do a lot of things more independently than yes. I thought I could before. Yes, and yeah. the truth is, like this is what I truly believe: God is within everybody. Okay, yeah. and you can take that however you want it. Whether you call your God Buddha, Mary. Mm -hmm. Jesus, Jehovah, right. I don't Allah, care. Muhammad, whatever it yes, is. Yes, whatever it is that you call your God, okay? Mm -hmm. The entity, the energy lives within each and every one of us. And even if you're a Christian, it say you were made in God's image. So wouldn't something about that image yes. be pretty similar? You know, things, yes. religion, I thought of this earlier this week. So a lot of this religion in general is like somebody robbing you with an empty gun. <laughs> this is how easy it is to put fear in somebody. This gun is completely empty, but you don't know. And it's like, get on the ground. You going to do it. Yeah. And you know, give me your money. You going to do it. And people that they call apostates, we are the ones that look and go, this gun is empty. Yeah. There's no clip in this gun. He cocked it back and the bullet didn't come out. This gun is empty. And Jehovah's Witnesses are the ones like, he said, get on the ground. Don't look. Yeah. And you sitting here like, Get up and look at this gun. Yes. This gun is empty, and the ones that are not awake are the ones that's like this. They told us, they told us not to look online. I'm not gonna do it. You know, uh -huh. he told me not to look in this gun. I'm not gonna do it. And that's how easy it is to control fear. And the person holding the gun are the people running these, you know, these organizations. They know that if you don't command or follow these orders, ain't nothing gonna happen. Yes. But they are telling you something bad is gonna happen if you don't follow these orders. If if you don't get on the ground, you getting hit with this yeah but they know this thing right here cannot harm you have nothing to worry about you see know? this is what just drives me crazy is the hypocrisy of everything and i don't know if you guys have been witnessing the whole td jakes thing okay uh -huh. but td jakes is like a super famous um pastor yeah He's like a like a spiritual leader in the famous world okay mm -hmm. and um so many people would like follow him and things and now all this stuff is coming out about him being hypocritical he's been that way we used to have conversations about him the truth is it's humans like right. humans are hypocritical people mm -hmm. so if you 
go out of your way to like follow a human instead of truly searching for the higher power within you right. like it's never going to um hit your uh expectations definitely you know what i mean yeah especially with humans that try to portray itself is as something yeah, else is i'm your leader you need yes. to those are the ones versus somebody like like i'm uh, i've been a day one nipsey hustle fan since i was a teenager and he's somebody that carries himself respectfully but he's not like i'm here because as we've seen he had a moment when he he lost control and slapped somebody at the BT Awards. Yes. And afterwards, he was like, you know, I don't like to be praised for that. That was, I apologize to that man. That was these are, fault. yeah, these yeah. are like people that are, but these are not religious leaders. These are regular humans, just like everybody yeah. else. But when you got these people to pretend, oh, yes, I'm this way and you all need to do what I say, those are the main ones you need to be worried about. And that's actually the problem that I have with um, how. God in general is portrayed in the Bible because mm -hmm. it he's like portrayed as something that can do no wrong, no right. harm. And I believe in balance, okay? Mm -hmm. And there are plenty of times in the Bible where you read and it's like you're conditioned to think like, oh, he did this for a reason. And you give so much grace to God, okay? Yeah. But the things that he asked of people was kind of crazy sometimes. You know, oh, that's going to be that's going to be a good topic son. right there. Think <laughs> of um even the situation with Job. Somebody brought out like we we gonna do a whole different video on this. Don't even worry. But just I know this video just turned. Yeah, <laughs> but like it's okay. The, um, basically, like the situation he was the person was saying how Satan has never been punished in the Bible. Yeah. The most people could say he was cast to earth, but his loyal God's loyal servants have been punished more. David, you know, being punished. Thousands of people being wiped out. Job and his family being wiped out and punished. Yeah. But Satan has never been punished in religion. If yes. you actually look at it. And people say, oh, but he will be in Revelation, which hasn't happened. And it's been talked about. This is a thousands and thousands of years of a religion. And this person has not been punished. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. We, we, we we'll get into that one on a, on a different topic. That's like something yeah. that you have to build up to because it, it goes so deep and it goes so deep within like your indoctrination. But, yeah. um, I'm just going to say real quick, like anybody, uh, who has read, um, how to outwit the devil mm -hmm. or if you haven't read it, read it, like I would definitely tell you to read it. Cause it kind of puts things into perspective too, about how like evil versus good works and like how yeah. that lives within each one of us. And yeah. it makes things make sense on like a universal level. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we, we've been kind of treading lightly with the videos, but we got, we didn't just leave the organization, just go like, all right, like we no. question everything and we research everything especially like history we yeah. study this stuff deeply because we want to know like we didn't already been lied to by something that was supposed to be the truth so and they question like everything. so bad they like yeah. so bad even like in churches how they tell you oh um d don't make an altar for like your dead loved ones or anything like that but what do you do when you go to church you go to the altar you go to the altar okay yep. and you're taught you know if um your dead loved ones those are they're they're dead they're gone for good some people believe in like angels or mm -hmm. you know whatever spirit guides whatever the case may be but like even on our christmas day like uh we have my dad's ashes we put them right there okay like yep. you are gonna be part of this picture yeah <laughs> i was talking to him around. through the weekend yeah yep. like and i never thought back then that i would be in a space now where Somehow I have peace with afterlife. Like I never mm -hmm. had peace with afterlife before. Right. You know, like I, I felt how can somebody just be gone and like not exist anymore until the new world. Yeah, that, that was never so mind blowing sense. to me. That never made sense. Yeah. But yeah, that's just some. We kind of covered some of our beliefs. Yeah. And just kind of scattered over, you know, not just Jehovah's Witnesses, but religion in general, where a lot of these so-called. You know, you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that. But it's a whole list of things if you want to go by that rule that, you know, you shouldn't do this, this, and that. Well, you got to address everything. That's how I feel. Like, yep. you can't be, oh, don't, like, so pick and choosy. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. uh, Christmas is so pagan. Okay, well, do you know what else has pagan roots that everybody does? Mm -hmm. Get married and have engagement rings? Yeah. And have wedding rings and do vows? That, yeah. Do you know how pagan that is? Yeah, so follow <laughs> you gotta all the rules, address man. it all. Yeah, yeah. But back into it, 
happy holidays to everybody if you do holidays. Yeah. I just like to say it back to people because it's like yeah. I'm I'm not a big holiday person, but if somebody no, else not. is no, like I'm I can care less about holidays. I'm the one who brought him into I'm like, babe, let's go celebrate Christmas at my mom's house. And then yeah. once I was there I came back and I'm like once we have kids. <laughs> right. Like I'm not I'm just like whatever, cool. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Just do what works for you. And spend time with your family. If you got yes, the days most off, importantly. yeah, like if you got the days off, don't be a stick in the mud because life is so short. Spend time it with is. your family. If y'all cooking and cook, yeah, it's lot of, so fragile. Just enjoy your life. Right. It's not that. It's not that hard. Yeah. Yeah, but make sure we got a new Instagram. We will put it right there. Awaken Truths IG. Make sure y'all tap in with us on there. We're gonna be sharing clips back and forth on there. But yeah, yeah. for sure. We got more on the way. Stay tuned. We got some good topics coming up. We oh, going. We have such exciting listen. things coming in 2024. Like I want to tell them so bad. Oh uh, yeah, we'll, but we're gonna wait. Yeah, we got some. So keep on. We're gonna keep doing polls on ideas on what to uh, do with videos. Yeah. And make sure they do what. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.